Welcome to Crosstalk Solutions. My name's Chris, and if you're watching this video, then you are likely either an IT administrator who's looking for some resources to train your users on the free PBX voicemail system, or you're a user who is looking to learn and get the most out of the voicemail system. Uh, in either case, you've come to the right place, and welcome to the free PBX voicemail user's guide. Before we get started, let me take a quick second to ask that you give me a thumbs up on this video if you find it helpful. It really goes a long way towards helping this channel and I truly appreciate it. Uh, also, if you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to leave those in the comments section below and either myself or one of my other subscribers will be happy to respond to those for you. Okay, so without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, this video is broken down into three main sections, how to access your voicemail box, how to listen to and manipulate your voicemail recordings, and then how to record your name and outgoing greetings. So let's get right into it with how to access your voicemail box. So there are three main ways to access your voicemail box. Uh, if you have a phone, either a desk phone or a soft phone, you will typically have a messages button. So in this case, it just says message right here. Um, this also may look like uh, an envelope or it may be a combination of the word message or envelope, it might say voicemail, but it'll be something like that that indicates when you press this button, uh, you're gonna go straight into the voicemail system. You have no messages. Okay. Press two to change. So in this case, I have no messages on this phone. The next way to get into your voicemail system is by dialing the voicemail feature code. And if you are on the phone that you want to check voicemails for, that feature code is star 97. Star 97. Dial. Password. And uh, in some cases, this will ask you for the password. So for instance, if you're on a soft phone. And in other cases, for instance, this phone, uh, my desk phone, it won't ask me for a password. Finally, if you'd like to check voicemail messages from a different phone, the code to access voicemail is star 98. Now when you dial star 98, Comedian mail. mailbox. it's going to first ask you for your Comedian mailbox number, mail. in which case mailbox. mine is 206 pound, password. and the password is 12345 pound. You have no. And now we're into voicemail. So, from the outside world or from a different phone, star 98, enter your extension number followed by the pound key, and then enter your voicemail password followed by the pound key. Okay, so now that you've been logged into voicemail, the voicemail system will tell you how many new messages that you have, and in order to listen to those messages, just press one. You have one new message. All right, I'm press gonna press one. one. For new first message. Hello, this is Jeffrey with the Powerball Lottery informing you that you have won and you may now quit your job immediately. All right. So now, while you're listening to your messages, you have some options. Um, and these are very, very handy options to remember. If you use the star or pound key, this rewinds or fast forwards your message by three seconds. So if you miss something, if you missed a phone number, you want to rewind by three seconds, just hit the star key. You can hit star, 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 you hit it three times, that goes back nine seconds. Same thing with the pound key. If someone's droning on and you just want them to get to the point, hit pound and that fast forwards three seconds. So if you hit pound, 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 you've just fast forwarded nine seconds into that voicemail. Additionally, if you'd like to skip to the next message, you can press six. And if you'd like to delete the current message, you can press seven. When you press seven to delete a message, it'll immediately delete that message and then move on to the next message in your mailbox. Okay, so the final step to setting up your voicemail box is to record your name and your outgoing greetings. Now, you want to record your name for things like the dial by name directory. Uh, just always a good idea to get your name in there. So to do that, you want to log into your voicemail. You want to press zero for advanced options and then choose option three to record your name. Once you've recorded your name, hit the pound key to accept that recording. So here we go, I'm gonna dial into my voicemail. Password. Password. You have one. New. Zero for advanced to options. Your unavailable message. Three to press record your name. The tone, say your name, and then press the pound key. Chris Sherwood. Thank you. Press one to accept this. 
Okay, now that our name has been recorded, it's time to record our various outgoing greetings. And there are three types of outgoing greetings. There's an unavailable greeting. This is sort of the main greeting, your main outgoing message. And the unavailable greeting is used for when you, you, someone calls you and you don't pick up the phone. Uh, then there's your busy greeting. And your busy greeting is similar to the unavailable message, but it's used in the case that you're actually already on the phone. So if you're busy, it will play the busy greeting when it sends to voicemail. And finally, there's a temporary greeting, and the temporary greeting is used, for instance, if you go on vacation and you want to have a temporary voicemail greeting, letting everyone know that you'll be back in the office, you know, in a month. And then uh, once you come back into the office, you can turn off or erase the temporary greeting, and your greetings go back to normal. So let's start by recording our main unavailable greeting. To do this, you want to log into voicemail, and then press 0 for advanced options, and 1 to record the unavailable greeting. Enter in your password. Again, in most cases with a desk phone, it's not going to ask you for your password. So here we have zero for advanced options. Press one to record your unavailable greeting. After the tone, say your unavailable message and then press the pound key. You've reached Chris Sherwood. I'm not at my desk right now, so please leave a message and I will call you back as soon as possible. Thank you. Press one to ex there we go. So now I've recorded my unavailable greeting. Remember that as soon as you finish the greeting, just hit pound to stop the recording and save that greeting. Now we're going to record our busy greeting, which is again similar to the unavailable greeting, but it's for when you're actually already on the phone and someone goes to your voicemail box. New message. Press zero for advanced options and message. two to record your busy to greeting. Record your busy message. After the tone, say your busy message and then press the pound key. You've reached Chris Sherwood. I'm already on the phone, but please leave a message and I will call you back as soon as possible. Thank you. Press 1 to accept this recording. Okay, and then you can simply hang up. Okay, so the last thing is to record our temporary greeting, which is your vacation greeting or your temporary message. I'm going to record that greeting. It's going to be put into place, and then I'm going to erase that greeting uh, to come back from vacation, so to speak. Okay, so to do your temporary greeting, you want to log into voicemail, press 0 for advanced options, and then choose option 4 for the temporary greeting. You have 1. New. Press 1 to record your unavailable message. After the tone, say your temporary message and then press the pound key. You've reached Chris Sherwood. I am currently on vacation. I will be back in 2017. Thank you. Press 1 to accept this recording. Press 2 to listen to it. Press your message has been saved. There is a temporary greeting, which overrides your standard greetings. Okay, so when you have the temporary greeting in place, you will hear that prompt that says there's a temporary greeting that overrides your standard greeting. So what you want to do is to disable it. Let's say I've come back from vacation and I'm ready to turn off that greeting. Uh, you go back into voicemail. You go to zero for advanced options. 4 for temporary greeting, and then 2 to erase the temporary greeting. Password. Your temporary greeting is currently active. You have 1. New. Zero. There is a temporary greeting, which overrides your standard greeting. Press Four. 1 to record your temporary greeting, or press 2 to erase your temporary greeting. Two. Your temporary greeting has been removed. Press 1 to record your unavailable message. And that's all there is to it. Now, this is just a very brief overview of some of the most commonly used functions of the FreePBX voicemail system. Certainly, there are a lot more things that you can do with voicemail, uh, but these are the things that most people are going to be focused on. These are the options and features that people are going to be taking advantage of the most. So I hope you enjoyed the free PBX voicemail user's guide. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please click subscribe. My name's Chris with Crosstalk Solutions, and thank you so much for watching.